everybody. Welcome. I'm going to really quickly make sure I'm in the right group. Okay, I am. So today is April 1st, and this is the last day of the event. I'm super sad that I'm not going to be with you guys every day, but you guys can watch me over on my business page. I will put the link in with this description of the video, but I also wanted to talk to you guys about this is April Club Couture's um, club. So if you want to join club, this is the one you will get for April. Um, March's has already been retired. They literally retire them the last day of the month. Today we are going to use our paste single and we are going to paint a surface with paste. I wanted to show you guys how to do that. This is a way that you can. We're going to use the drop in box frame, which is right here. And this will hold three of these sheets right here. They are double sided. It comes with three and you can buy an additional three pack or as many as you want. So we're going to get ready to do the paste as paint. So I'm going to use a paste single instead of pulling it out of my jar. Normally I would pull it out of my jar. But when you use paste singles, this is how you mix them up. You just mix it up, mix it up. And then you push it down like this. And you're going to cut a, a corner. Now we're going to use all of this, so I'm not going to bother leaving any in there. But if you were to leave some in, what you would do is you would let it dry in that corner spot that you cut. Okay? so that you can reuse this paste single over and over and over again until you're done with it. Okay, so we put putting the paste out on the tray. You're gonna use a little bit of distilled water only because any other water will make it mold. I'm gonna use a stir stick and we're gonna turn this paste into a paint. So you're just gonna mix it in until it gets to the right consistency where it looks like paint. You obviously don't want clumps like this in it. You want it to be liquid. If we need more, we can always pull more from our paste jar. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone still has power and internet. Um, we had some really nasty storms come in all through the south last night and a lot of places I know got hit and I hope everyone is safe. All right, so we are going to take this surface and we're gonna paint using our um, designer paint brushes. I will put all of this stuff in a cart link for you guys. So you can use any of our colors, you can use black velvet, you could use any of the blue colors, you can use any of our colors to paint with. Our paste is all water soluble, they all work really well with painting. Obviously some have better coverage than others, sometimes you have to do a couple different, um, you know, different touch-ups with different ones, depending also on how thin you make the paste. You did notice I just stuck my finger in paste, but that's okay. So I'm using some cardboard that um, come from one of our kits. I never throw any of that stuff out because I know I'm going to end up using it. So I'm going to just kind of put my finger over here in the corner. I'm liking the coverage so far. I'm just making sure that the brush strokes, you know, it's not like a brush stroke right in the middle because you don't want that. Okay, so we're gonna sit that off to the side. I'm gonna wash my hands. We're gonna dry this. So using our quick dry tool, we're gonna dry the paste. This is what I love about chalk, is that there's so many different ways to use this product that if your mind can imagine it, more than likely you can do it. I'm noticing there's a couple spots that need to be touched up, but other than that, it's looking pretty good. This is gonna take a little bit to dry, 
Um, I'm obviously speeding this up using the quick dry tool. You do want to make sure that this is completely dry before you do chalk on it because if you don't, when you go to do your project, it will pull that paste up. So obviously you don't want that to happen. So this is something you could do with our box frames. You could do this with multiple surfaces, canvas. You could do this on so many different things. I was gonna do a canvas project, but I did not get my canvas off of its um, frames. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to do that at another time. So if you are wanting to keep going with me, you're gonna to wanna to jump over on my business page. I do a lot of things like that over there. Um, just showing you different ways to use chalk. Um, it just depends on how you wanna do it. I'm seeing that there's spots that are not completely dry. So of course I wanna make sure that they are completely dry. That's one of the great things about our quick dry tools. It does dry this pretty quickly unless you want to let it sit um, and dry naturally, but you can do that too. You can paint things and just let them sit all through the, um, like overnight before you actually chop. I always use like my lighting to see how dry it is because usually you can tell. So we're going to use this cute transfer. We're going to do the dragonfly. These are actually created for the box frame. And we have, currently we have three of these B size that have two projects on each. So six. And they're actually meant to go from the beginning of the year, you know, through. And then they're going to keep coming out with more and more of them because these drop-in box frames are just amazing. You can paint the drop-in box frame. You can paint this. You can stain the drop-in box frame. So many awesome ideas. All right. Now we're going to let this sit over here and dry. I'm going to actually... Put that paste over here. I can use that again. I just water it back down. So let's fuzz. Grab my fuzzing cloth here. Let's fuzz this transfer. We're just going to use um, bright white, black and white. That's how we're going to do it. Now, if you really want to, you can still wax this, and I'm actually going to do that. I'm just going to let that get down um, to room back to room temp before we do that. As always, you want to keep your packaging in your backer sheet because these are reusable 8 to 12 times, sometimes more, but 8 to 12 times is what I guarantees. And we're going to cut it apart using our transfer trimmers. The special thing about these trimmers is they, are, they have a non-stick coating on them, so they're meant to cut our transfers. We're going to use the dragonfly, setting this other one off to the side. Of course, on the back, I'm going to write dragonfly, and then my dash marks. All right, let's fuzz this. There's a lot of silk screen to this one, but we still need to fuzz it pretty good because we are putting that on a um, paper-like surface that we've already chalked on because we basically have put the black velvet on there and we turned it into a paint but super awesome looking all right we're gonna let that sit sticky side up over here on the fuzzing cloth for just a minute i'm gonna move this back over and we are going to wax this That'll also protect our transfer and it will protect our surface that we just did. So, grab a little bit of wax. I like to just kind of mix it up on here and then just kind of go right over top.
kind of making it shiny again. So if you are like, oh, I don't want it to be shiny, you could always just not wax it. But the reason why we are is because if we don't, our transfer will roll. It'll do what we call a roly poly action and it will like start to roll. That's okay as long as you put it in water and lay it flat, it will flatten itself back out. It just is a little bit of a pain in the behind, to be honest. All right, we are going to pull all that extra off. Okay, now we are going to lay this down, centering to the board. It's not exactly center. And how you know it's down is because you're going to push this transfer down and you can kind of see the background through it. So we're going to use bright white. And you want to start just off that silk screen. Start pulling it toward you. With our paste you can go in multiple different directions. With the ink you can only do either up and down or side to side. You can't do multiple because the ink will bleed and I obviously don't want that. I'm just hoping my internet stays. It's really windy out there today. Alright, so that is covered. I'll close up that case. And slowly take off this transfer. Oh my gosh, guys, that turned out so pretty. There is our dragonfly. How cute, right? And see, the other side is going to be painted too, but that is super cute. I'm going to dry this real quick. I'll show you guys how to put that into the box, the drop-in box frame. So you can either put it in here with this one that's already in here, or you can pull that one out drop this one in I want to make sure that this on the back is dry and now you have an awesome design just that simple how classic and pretty is that right all right guys you have a fabulous weekend if you want to still follow my lives please join my business page or my vip group and you guys have a great weekend and i'll talk to you all soon all right guys